I've always been a morning person. It's currently 6.35 right now. But not a morning person. Recently, I started waking up at 6 a.m. and noticed I was happier, more awake, felt more accomplished, I slept better. This is my 6 a.m. work morning routine. <laughs> just woke up it's 6 a.m right now and i'm about to first go for a run if you guys are new here my name is michelle reed i work full-time nine to five and i've already done a work morning routine but i wanted to do one that was my 6 a.m morning routine because i've been doing this more often i do this routine about three times a week i try to run in the morning so this is my routine on those days but if i'm not running i usually just wake up around like 6 45 today is a running day so this is my routine if you guys are new here you should definitely subscribe i obviously just woke up which is why i look like this in the morning i always bundle up a lot i live in a very old building and our heat honestly is just not good at all and so it's freezing in here in the mornings and so this is very accurate let's go for a run <laughs> Seriously, like I get so excited for my coffee in the morning. I'm gonna be mixing this French vanilla and then I have a little bit of beans left from this one. So I'm gonna mix these two and make them in my French press. I'll show you guys how I make my French press. It's really easy. I always get questions, but I basically just grind up the beans. I put them in the French press, get my water really hot, move them over. also been adding some ground nutmeg and cinnamon to the grinds before I actually put the water in and guys it seriously tastes so good you have to try it I do this all the time after my showers I do actually always change back into my pajamas because <laughs> I'm always so cold in the morning and these are just like the warmest things While I wait for my coffee to brew, I always read this devotional every morning. I know this is super repetitive. I talk about this seriously in every video. And the reason why is because I've read this for two years now. I just love it so much. It's called New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. It essentially just has a day of the week for each um, day and you just read it every morning. I love it because I find a lot of times it's really hard for me to find devotionals that just work for me that aren't super flowery, that are still practical. And this one is just always my favorite. And as you can see, I've got some coffee on it because I literally read this every morning and drink my coffee and it's just truly my favorite. So I'll have this link down below if you guys want to check it out. I love it. every time but this is literally the best part of every single morning sitting here with my coffee for like five minutes before i get ready the best it is now time for me to get ready because it's about 7 10 right now which is usually when i like to start getting ready i want to preface by saying i do actually usually get ready every day for work i know a lot of people don't really wear a lot of makeup to work they don't really get like a full face or whatever i just prefer to i feel a lot more like confident working and especially if i have like a meeting or i'm going to youtube events after work i just like to be put together tonight i am actually going to an event so i just kind of want to look a little nice and it's kind of like a business casual youtube event so i just want to make sure i'm like put together so this is my typical work makeup and hair look i get a lot of questions about how i curl my hair so i'm going to show you guys that too i also usually watch youtube videos in the morning while i do my makeup but obviously not going to do that because i'm filming i'll also have all these products linked down below if you guys are interested in trying any of them out i just have a tray and i use all the same makeup because i don't switch things up ever so first just going with my it cosmetic cc cream i've used this for such a long time i think it's the best and you guys know i've like struggled with hormonal acne acne from stress and so i find that this just does a really good job of making my face look pretty clear and then just going with my instant age rewind concealer this is actually like almost gone and i really need to get a new one because struggling with insomnia and stress and all those things i have some dark under eye circles and this stuff really does the job of covering them up and then going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just like to bake my concealer and then also put this on the rest of my face. Because it's winter time, I find that I don't really need to do a lot of powder because it's so dry out. I do like to just bake underneath my eyes. For brows, I'm just using my Benefit Goof Proof 
brow pencil. I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I'm using this palette, which is called the Kat Von D. I honestly have no idea what this says. Just like a lot of like warm tones. So I'm just gonna like do some of the lighter colors on like my lid and my crease. Then just curling my lashes and I'm using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Then just using this L'Oreal Paris eyeliner. I'm just doing like a very thin line of eyeliner. So I always do my hair while I still have my like baking powder on. Since I did work out, I like to just do a little bit of dry shampoo. So I'm just using this Dove one. Taking my straightener. All I do is I take a piece that's about like this big. I take my straightener, clamp it down. I twist it, pull the hair through and I pull down. And you get like a nice little curl. And then I just like to do all of them and then I kind of like brush them out once I'm done. It's definitely hard to get the hang of curling your hair with a straightener, but I think it looks a lot more natural than using say a wand or something. You just get a nice little curl. Sometimes I wear my hair natural for work. Sometimes I will do this. It just really depends on the day, honestly. Then I like to just kind of wipe up all the baking powder that I have on. And since I'm super pale because it's winter time, I'm just going in with a little bit of bronzer. This is one from Tarte. Then I'm just going in with my Benefit Dandelion Blush. And then lastly, I just like to go in with my Benefit What's Up Highlighter and I just apply this to my forehead. And that is it for my makeup and my hair. Just finished getting ready. I'm just wearing this beret from Princess Polly, blazer from Princess Polly. My dress is from Zara, Daniel Wellington, Iconic Link Watch, tights, and then also my boots, which are from Naturalizer, but I dressed up a little bit more than usual because I am going to an event tonight. About to eat a really quick breakfast because it's actually 8 a.m. and I need to leave in like 10 minutes. And so, but before that, I need to post a video. I'm just gonna do it off of my phone. This is the video that I just posted. So after I post it, I like to make sure to share it on my Instagram. Also just sharing this little story someone tagged me in. They also made their coffee the way I've been making it, which is so sweet. I always share these on my stories. So you guys should definitely follow me at Michelle Reed. I love seeing you guys' posts and this seriously makes my day when people tag me, so. Now I'm about to eat breakfast and truthfully, I always eat breakfast before I leave. I usually make like avocado toast or oatmeal or something like that. But truthfully, I just, honestly have no time i literally need to leave in five minutes and i'm a little bit stressed and so i'm just gonna get my lunch that i packed yesterday trader joe's chicken and like veggies and then cowboy caviar and then i'm also just gonna grab like a granola bar and a banana which is something i don't like to do but sometimes you just gotta do it guys i then like to check the weather and see what jacket i need to wear so it is 30 degrees outside so we're doing the parka and a scarf today